Can I hear it? I guess I can take a seat. to come in, Marissa? Okay. Tell us when, when we're going to start, uh, Jackie. Or when other people are on. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Can't see me. That's okay. Uh, that's just right. Okay. Are we going? Are we going? Good morning. Uh, my name is Mercer, and I'm from October Gallery here in beautiful downtown Germantown. And it's a pleasure and an honor that this year uh, Philadelphia Legacy is honoring October Gallery. This is our 35th year in, in, in business. And today, of course, we have Steve here, and we have the artist. Greetings. I'm Damon Bain from Philadelphia, born and raised. Uh, am, I am I talking? <laughs> All right, thank you for your time today. My name is Damon. I am a visual artist. I have been painting for 25 years, graduate of high school for creative and performing arts in Philadelphia. And I've peppered through a few colleges as well. Um, but uh, my goal here today, when Steve commissioned me to paint this uh, beautiful painting of Samuel Delaney, uh, one of the greatest um, modern day 20th century writers um, and book authors, I took it very seriously um, as I do always. And um, I wanted to convey as much um, of his story as possible uh, through this medium, oil. Um, so uh, a, a lot of what you see here is, is uh, basically, uh, I wanted to put in, make sure he had his books and some of his famous novels are also involved. And just, I wanted to make sure the composition um, spoke to um, um, a little bit of his personality. So from my research, after I got the assignment, I, I got to know Samuel just through reading and um, uh, this is what I came up with. So I hope you enjoy it and thank you. Hi, I'm Steve Sattel, uh, founder and director of Philadelphia Legacy. Uh, this is our fifth annual program. Uh, the painting of Sam Delaney actually comes from our fourth program, uh, fourth annual dinner, which was last year. And what we do is we take paintings and we donate them for two years across the city so that we can continue to educate about people, uh, continue to support the artists. And uh, this year, uh, Sam Delaney wanted us to uh, donate to William Way um, community center and he's Sam is on the line and um, Chris Bartlett who uh, runs the William Way community center is, is on the line and we also have um, Mayor Wilson Good on the line who was very very supportive of uh, the gay community when he was mayor really a, a forerunner um, at that time uh, and so he'll be able to talk about his relationship I know William Way at some point worked in his administration and he'll uh, tell you a, a little bit about that. Uh, we are having our fifth annual next Monday. Uh, we're we're going to be much more condensed than usual because of the virus, but we are going to have it. Um, and we're going to be honoring uh, one of the icons of, um, of art, uh, really around the world, but from Philadelphia, uh, Cal Massey, and also uh, Bootsy Barnes, uh, the great uh, sax player. Uh, we lost both of those. Uh, Cal Massey, in our second annual, uh, painted John Cheney, and that was his last major painting. Uh, so uh, that's what uh, we're going to be doing uh, next Monday, is celebrating those two people. Plus, we're going to be celebrating uh, Mercer, who founded October Gallery. October Gallery is now 35 years old as our Life Achievement Award winner. And then we have Unsung Hero and Community Leadership award winners. So we're very excited about that. We're very excited that we've been able to make it five years and we're especially excited that we um, are going to be able to donate for two years uh, this great painting that, that Damon did of, of Samuel Delaney. And uh, I know everybody is, is very happy about that. Um, Sam, would you like to speak about why um, you wanted the, the painting donated? to um, the uh, community center and what your relationship with the community center has been. Yes. That the 
William Way, uh, the, the neighborhood, known as the Gaberhood, uh, informally, uh, was my own neighborhood for um, um, many years when I, uh, up until about two years ago, really, uh, when I lived in Philadelphia, when I lived in that neighborhood. Uh, and the uh, William Way was right down the street from me. Uh, and I went up, was in and out of there uh, since I had, since I've had to move uh, to the Fremont, the museum district where I live now. Uh, it's a little harder to get to. Nevertheless, I've been back a couple of times and I really like it. Uh, looking at the painting, I'm interested. One of the things that's interesting is I just wrote an essay very recently uh, for a book uh, of paintings in general. And one of the things I talked about was the fact that uh, often painters don't like to paint the same thing again and again. Uh, and one of the things that's kind of hard to, 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 uh, to get painters to do. Uh, and this is the third, this is a, a painting of me, uh, which does that thing and it, uh, and which is to say it paints books, which has been such a huge part of my life. Uh, and, uh, a lot of, portrait painters and painters in general shy away from having to paint the same thing on several occasions. In fact, you can probably see behind me, I, I live in a, uh, with a lot of books. So I'm, I'm very, I, this is a very impressive portrait. And in that sense, it's a rather unusual portrait. Uh, it's uh, one of the things I also noticed that it was obviously the research was done um, for it for a fairly long time ago when I used to wear glasses, although I haven't worn glasses since my cataract operations uh, about uh, 20 years ago. It's still a wonderful work. And uh, uh, and I'm, uh, as I said, and, and because of the William, what the William Way has done for its community and me personally, uh, it's, uh, um, I, I think it's a wonderful place to, um, uh, if, uh, that uh, I feel very honored that they said that they would take the portrait. Um, and so, uh, uh, and uh, I think um, our artist here, uh, which I'm, whom I'm happy to see again, has done a marvelous job. And uh, I'm really very pleased and honored uh, that uh, the uh, center has accepted the portrait and that the, I was chosen to have my portrait done. Thank you. Community Center, um, your involvement with it. Um, I know yesterday you told me you were a great admirer of Wilson Good. Um, so you may want to talk a, a little bit about um, Mayor Goods um, from your perspective, um, his advocacy. Oh, there. I think uh, is is that is that is that um, is that is that Mayor Good or is that uh, Chris? <laughs> With, with masks. Yeah. I'm up on the screen now. Would you like Mayor Good to go next? That's up to whoever is running the show. Uh, well, since I'm on the screen, uh, we'll, we'll save the best for last and have Mayor Good go next. I'm Chris Bartlett. I'm the LGBT. Oh, yes, so it is Chris. With, that, with, with, with the mask, it's hard to tell sometimes. sometimes. I'm the Executive Director of the William Way LGBT Community Center, and we just wanted to express our great gratitude to Chip Delaney and to all of our friends uh, who helped to make this happen today. Thank you, Steve Sattel. Thank you, Damon, for a beautiful, beautiful portrait that we are honored to have in the William Way Community Center. And I wanna say that it's gonna have a place of pride in our lobby where all of our community members will be able to see uh, Chip's face as they come in. And as they often did when he stopped by, uh, the center's closed right now to the public but we are going to make sure that the image is visible through our online efforts. And when the building is open, we hope to do a, a, a special ceremony, both to uh, welcome Chip back into the building and to welcome all of you to come see the work of the center. I will say that in my 10 years at the center, we've really tried to do the arts and culture work that includes uh, Chip and many others who've been visionary leaders in LGBT and black arts. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Chip had connections with a whole generation of black LGBT artists, such as uh, he'd tell you himself in a limited way, James Baldwin, but also Stormy Delavery, who was 
a wonderful activist who was at Stonewall, uh, which as many of you know, was the original LGBT demonstration in New York that set out uh, LGBT liberation. We've also done a jazz festival that explores the intersections between black and LGBT culture that was called Outbeat. Uh, and subsequently, we really built our archive to include black LGBT figures, including Anita Cornwell, who was the first black lesbian uh, to write on black lesbian issues. So it's a natural partnership for us to have Chip Delaney's portrait in our lobby for two years. We will celebrate it and we're honored. And finally, I want to say, as Mayor Good comes on, that there's no greater friend to the LGBT community than Mayor Good. For those of you who don't yes. know, he uh, founded the first LGBT commission in Philadelphia, and he also founded the AIDS Activities Coordinating Office, which it is not an exaggeration to say has saved thousands and thousands of not only LGBT lives, but Black lives and many other lives. And so at a time when we're saying that Black lives matter and Black LGBT lives matter and Black artists matter, uh, this is a perfect moment for us to celebrate the lifetime work of Chip Delaney, his investment in community, his being a professor at Temple, and his being a great friend to a whole new generation of artists and activists who believe in his vision of the intersection of all human beings, uh, regardless of race, sexual orientation, gender, uh, et cetera. So, Thank you very much, and uh, I'll pass it on to Mayor Good again with great thanks for both of your leadership, Chip and Mayor Good. Uh, thank you all very much, uh, Sam Delaney. Thank you, Chris Bartlett. Thank you, uh, both uh, strong pioneers in this work. I am so delighted to uh, be here. I knew William Way very well. He worked for me. One of my uh, prize employees uh, did a terrific job in dealing with issues uh, of the community. And I was just very, very pleased to have him work for me and was sad when he uh, passed away at an early age. Um, I, I am pleased to have uh, established a board uh, in the city that dealt with uh, issues concerning the gay community, uh, was very pleased to uh, deal with, uh, set up ACO. Uh, the um, interesting story about that is that the uh, great proponent of ACO was uh, David Fair. Uh, and I remember it got created on a Sunday morning, uh, I missed church service to come to my office and met with my health commissioner, Marjorie Clifford and David Fair. Uh, and out of that meeting, we crafted and created the AIDS Activity Coordinating Office, which I know has saved lots of lives. Uh, I also uh, supported uh, against the wishes of a lot of uh, public officials at that time, a gay pride uh, parade in the city, uh, and in fact was a part of that. So I, I, I just want to simply say that, uh, uh, Sam, I'm so delighted that your likeness will be in the William Way Center. Uh, two great people of this city uh, uh, recognizing Sam Delaney and recognizing Bill Way uh, for all the work that he did. Uh, so thank you all very much. I'm so proud to be a part of this this morning. Uh, I can't say how much I appreciate simply being invited to be a part of this. Thank you all. And thank you, sir. Thank you. What we're going to to do now is, is we're going to take our masks off uh, very quickly uh, so we can get a picture of um, the painting. And do you know how we do this? But I guess we have, uh, we, we can actually get Chip in the, the picture. Right? Or, yeah, yeah. I um, need to take a screenshot. You know how to do a screenshot, Nelson? I don't want to say screenshot. I don't think David is in. Well, I got it. 
I mean, we'll come around this side. Like, 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 Mercy is <laughs> not me. No, uh, <laughs> come on this side. Of, uh, oh, I guess in this case, I'm I'm more for you. So. I guess. You don't want to skip. Steve. Yeah. 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 Okay. I don't want to get that. I'm going to go. Okay. Now you two come real close to you. Okay. Stay there. Stay there. Real close. Get in. Steve. No. Is this okay. working? <laughs> you know what we may want to do one at a time? Make one person and then do. One, two, and one with David. Okay. Let's do David. That's fine. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll make the painting look better. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're in the frame, uh, Jackie. Okay. Let's get this. Okay. Let's get this. 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 Let's get yeah, I can do it now. <laughs> Let's do this now. Okay. Good. Let me see the C's. We're doing screenshots, Sam. Pardon me? We're doing screenshots to, to take the pictures. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. That's it. We have it. Very good. Great. Okay. Thank you again. Any questions? I don't see any questions. Okay. We thank you so much. I'll throw it off your legacy. Fifth annual dinner will be. Next Monday, on the 16th at Axum, on the 46th at Baltimore Avenue, 5 o'clock. The website. the website is uh, philadelphialegacy.org, philadelphialegacy.org. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sam. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay.